I want to share a little tip that will save you some time when you're working on your projects. Right now, I'm recording with my band, and we're doing overdubs on guitars. We're trying to layer the bass with a little guitar to make the bass stick out a little bit. And we just did it on a song before, and rather than having to set up the track over again and go through everything and make sure everything's right, we can just take that track from another project. So I'm going to go into my browser under this song called Mountains, and I'm looking for the Yellow Telly Orange, which is the track I used to record this bass overdub. And you'll see it right here. And it probably has my little overdub. So I just got to delete that part from the other track. I'm going to show my take lanes and just delete any take lanes that I might have had so I don't get confused later. And we'll zoom back in on this part. And Alex is going to be playing his little bass riff on his guitar. <laughs> Oh no, I made a big mistake while we were recording this. I left the record enable on another track we were doing previously and recorded the part Alex was playing on two tracks, replacing the one I'd done earlier. Always important to remember to disable recording on tracks you don't want to record on. But if you want to make that automatic, you can just right click on your record button and do arm exclusive. That's also in the preferences. So this way, when we click on a track, it will automatically disable record on other tracks. Now, this isn't such a big problem thanks to Ableton's take lanes, because I can just go and select the old take that I had that I liked and hit enter. And now that is the one that we have back where we want it. And maybe give that a little trim to get that little noise out of there and a little fade out and we're back to where we started no big deal cool and it's that easy we got it done without having to waste time setting things up and we can move on to the next song